just a little one, Alicia, because the Tigers openers this year were scheduled for the West Coast. Their games here at Comerica Park are remaining unscathed by this, at least for now. In the midst of this labor dispute, the first game of the season for the Tigers happening here Friday, April 8th against the Chicago White Sox. In a $10 billion industry, the owners have made a conscious decision to use this weapon against the greatest asset they have, the players. Still no deal between MLB players and league owners by Tuesday's deadline. The result, the first two series of the season canceled. For the Tigers, that means no trip to Seattle or Oakland this year to face the Mariners or the Athletics. In a show of solidarity with impacted fans, Detroit's professional soccer team tweeting that they've set aside tickets for every home match this month and April for MLB season and opening day ticket holders. Former Detroit players and members of the Players Association, including Andrew Miller, Tony Clark, and Max Scherzer, weighing in on the lockdown. This is not just about shifting pieces of the pie around. This is about getting the game that we love to work and operate as best as it can. Much of the negotiations have focused on boosting base pay and opportunity for younger players. We offered to raise the minimum salary to $700,000 an increase of $130,000 from last year. And according to the league commissioner, they also offered to create a $30 million bonus pool for the league's best young players. The players union, though, wants $725,000 for base pay, with more increases down the line. We still feel that there's uh, dollars to be allocated towards them that would fairly compensate their uh, contributions on the field, uh, more so than what's on the table at this point. Now, in terms of payment, Manfred has said that those players will not get paid for the games that are not played. However, the players union disagreeing with that. They say if a deal is reached, payment for those games would be a necessity. More games, though, could be on the chopping block if a deal here is not reached. Talks now moving to New York. Nothing scheduled at this point, though. Much more to come on this. A lot of eager fans waiting for answers this morning. Reporting live outside Comerica Park. Jen Schantz, 7 Action News. Yeah, and it certainly becomes real when you start missing games. And if you get to Tigers yeah. opening day, the home opener there at Comerica Park, and if that's cut, that's going to be a big deal. Of course, we'll be following this all. Right. Thank you so much, Jen, for that report.